What's up guys, it is T-Ball, and I am back with another video. So today we're going to be previewing the Oklahoma City Thunders 2018-19 NBA season with my predictions at the end as well. So before I start, if you want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. So the Oklahoma City Thunder have made some pretty big moves this offseason. They were able to re-sign Paul George to a long-term deal that prevents him from going to LA anytime soon. Resign Jeremy Grant to a three-year $27 million deal, sign Erlens Noel, and trade Carmelo Anthony along with the first round pick for Dennis Schroeder to round out their big moves. So what will be the Thunder's starting lineup? How will their new acquisitions fit on the team? And how many wins will they have? We'll go over all of this in this video, and I'll also be doing a preview and prediction video for all 30 NBA teams, so be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that. And before we get into it, a huge shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. SeatGeek is a ticket app that takes the confusion out of buying tickets, and using the app you can see which ticket is a good deal which has a green dot, or a bad deal which has a red dot for any sporting event or concert. It's an easy to navigate app, and it's a must have for anyone who's interested in attending an event. Use my discount code the T-Ball to get $20 off your first purchase when you first sign up for an account, and I'll leave a link to the site where you can sign up, or you can also download the app on your phone as well and use my code to get the discount there. So for the Thunder starting lineup, I have Russell Westbrook, Robertson when he's healthy, Paul George, Patrick Patterson, and Steven Adams. For the bench, I have Dennis Schroeder, Abrinas, TLC, Jeremy Grant, and Nerlens Noel. We'll see if Robertson will be healthy to start the season, though ruptured patellar tendon injuries are very severe, so he may or may not be ready. But when Robertson comes back, if he manages to still be around 80-90% to 90 of his former self on defense, he and Paul George will form a nightmare defensive combo at the wing, and they could stifle top forwards and also guards as well on switches. I also see Patrick Patterson starting over Jeremy Grant for spacing reasons, as Patterson has proven to be a solid 3-point shooter throughout his NBA career at 37% while Jeremy Grant is pretty below average with a career 30.1 3-point percentage. If Jeremy Grant is in the starting lineup, the Thunder would have terrible floor spacing with Paul George being the only dangerous threat from 3. Grant can come off the bench and be a great energy and long defender, and the Thunder can run Robertson, George, and Grant at times together to give them 3 wings and forwards who are long and can switch easily on defense. To address Ferguson, I'm not sure if he's going to be in the regular rotation. He showed a lot of promise last season, but he struggled a lot as the games went on, and eventually he was out of the rotation in the playoffs. Abrinas is a better shooter than Ferguson, and has actually improved his defense as we saw late last season. While I think Ferguson still has a future as a rotation NBA player, he'll likely spend most of his time in the G League next season. But if he shows a lot of improvement in training camp, I could see him getting the minutes I currently have TLC getting as a backup forward. Oklahoma City really upgraded their bench by trading for Dennis Schroeder and signing Nerlens Noel. This gives them arguably a starting level point guard and center as their backups. I also did a full breakdown of how these two players fit with the Thunder, so be sure to check out those videos out on my channel if you haven't already. But for a quick rundown, Schroeder gives the Thunder an excellent backup point guard and 6 man who is a great attacker and solid finisher at the rim. He can collapse defenses and kick it out to open shooters out at the perimeter like Paul George and Alex Abrinas. He puts a ton of pressure on defenses with his driving ability, but I would like to see him improve his outside shot. He's still not much of a threat from deep, but if he could start hitting threes consistently, he's going to be very hard to guard and simply be too much for most backup point guards to handle. Nerlens Noel is a great rim protector for the Thunder, and he gives Oklahoma City 48 minutes of rim protection along with Steven Adams. He also has quick hands in getting strips, and this could be very useful in forcing turnovers, but he does have a tendency to gimbal a bit too much. But I think the bench combination of Schroeder and Noel is going to eat other benches alive, as when Schroeder drives in the lane and draws a double team, he could just throw it up to Noel for easy dunks. Noel must stay disciplined on both sides of the floor, and if he gives 100% effort and sticks at a game plan on like what happened in Dallas, he could give the Thunder a big boost off the bench. I think an underrated pickup for the Thunder is TLC. Either him or Ferguson will get the backup small forward minutes, and I think TLC will get them over Ferguson. TLC was the 24th overall pick in the 2016 NBA Draft, and he's a wing who could guard both forwards and guards. He has solid size and long arms, and this has given him the ability to be a solid defender at times, getting his hands in the passing lanes, contesting shots, and getting blocks when he's beaten off the dribble. He's still young and pretty raw, but he has the tools to be a very good defender and switch on D. He's working on improving his 3-point shot, and I think he is pretty underrated as a passer, as he has the size to see over defenders and make the right pass. He reminds me of a former Thunder player in Thabo Cephalosha, and if TLC can turn out like him, he would be a great pickup for Oklahoma City. Overall, I think the Thunder have really improved this offseason by keeping one of their top players, improving their bench, and simply getting rid of Carmelo Anthony. They're going to struggle with spacing on offense, but they have a ton of defensive versatility, and they can make up for their lack of shooting there. 
It's a very athletic team that will look to play at a very high pace, and I think they'll be pretty fun to watch. I expect them to have a very good season and finish with a 52-30 record, with Robertson returning as he was a key piece for the Thunder last season. So that's a wrap, thanks guys for watching, if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. Also follow me on Instagram and hit me up if you want to talk about basketball, business or have any video ideas you want me to do, let me know as I do try to get back to all you guys there. Drop a comment down below on which NBA team you want to see a preview and prediction video on next. The comments that get the most likes will probably get a video on that team done first. So once again, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys soon for my next video. Peace.